Hello and hello and hello and welcome to The Cup, the currently unnamed podcast, or you can come here first to get to quench your reality thirst, or will we put the real and the tea in reality? I am your girl, Lana, your resident diva, here to give the tea, spill the tea, and drink the tea because you know I love me some tea, her. And uh, yeah, today I am... Uh, I'm actually drinking. Uh, oh, if I can get this thing off. Sun kiss. Orange sun kiss. Usually a strawberry. Today is orange. Just feeling orange today. And I'm drinking it out of my bottle. But, Jack, you know, if I was drinking it out of a cup, it will only and could only be the best cup. My cup mug. Per. And you know, you can always get your your cup mug as well at my Etsy shop at lanagscreation.etsy.com where you can get your cup mug and all your other cup merch and other things as well because I got it all. So check it out. Now that I'm actually home in Jersey, uh, I will be getting one and hopefully... Hopefully, it is here within about two weeks so we can have it during the final. No, we worked that out. <laughs> but with that said, hello, my name is Jack. I am a Twitch streamer. When I have my computer, a college student, when the semester is on, a game designer, and a coffee addict. Um, yeah, uh, not my typical setup. I'm back home because the semester is over. Yeah. I left some of the wires that I needed for my computer back up at college. So, uh, yeah, you've got me on my phone in a random room, and we're going to pretend the lights are intentional, uh, and they look really good, and it's not my phone being weird. Um, it's your halo. It's your halo. Oh, my God. This episode. This episode. This episode made me smile. This episode made me smile, and it also left me slightly confused at the end. Mm. But I mean, we're gonna we're gonna get into it. We'll talk about it. <laughs> we'll talk about it. So let's jump right in. We get back to camp, and. As we suspected, Carolyn is not very happy about the the vote that just happened. She was left out of the vote by Carson and Jam Jam. And she was like, the people who I trusted the most have just went behind my, my back and didn't tell me. And I'm pissed about it. I'm upset. And they were like, Carolyn, calm down, come on, come down. You don't want to tell, you don't want to show everybody that we're upset and we're mad. And she's like, I'm mad. I can't help but be mad. And I can't help but show that I'm mad. And, you know, I don't blame Carolyn for being mad. I don't either. Right? Like, the uh, Jam Jam and Carson have told her everything. And to suddenly be like, yeah, no, we just didn't tell you this. That's that's a lot to process. Mm -hmm. And this is like an hour, realistically, after Tribal by the time they get back. And right. she's been stewing Ooh. because they can't talk between the trip back. So this is like the first time they can actually just like talk to each other. Mm -hmm. I... I just feel so bad because it's like, yeah, Carolyn got left out completely while every other person knew what was going on. Right. And then Heidi voted Danny because why not? Why not? It was interesting to see just 
how people, re the reaction to this vote was. But, you know, Jam Jam was kind of like, you know, I, I can't talk to you if you like this. Carson was like, I know we did this and we're sorry, but we felt it was best. Da, 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 da. Kelly was just like, I just need time to relax. I just need to kind of process this. Like you said, she hadn't had that time. And when she finally did, she exploded because that was building up and stewing inside of her. And um, then we have Danny talking about some, well, somebody put a vote on me. I don't know who did it. I, I Who did it? And they were like, probably Franny. Probably Franny. <laughs> but there's no way. There's no way it could be Heidi. That wouldn't make sense. It's completely illogical. Pan to Heidi, just hi. I voted for Danny, right? And like, and I'm gonna lie about it. She said, "I'm gonna lie till it's over, to the end. I'm gonna lie because I, 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 I'm not gonna tell Danny I've turned on him because he would never. He he just for some reason in his mind it was unfathomable for Hall Heidi to vote for him." She she just thinks so logically. She would never do something illogical like this. Not this game is no logic. No logic behind that. Because there's no reason for her to want to vote out Danny. <laughs> I mean, whatever you got to tell yourself, Danny, in order to sleep at night. Like, I mean, you, you go. I guess. I guess. But yeah, he he didn't he he wasn't gonna believe it, and even because the next day, we have you know, the uh, meditation circle as always, and everybody's calm and breathe in, breathe out, who saw all of that, and Carson tells Jam Jam like, you know, so we need to figure out a way to tell Danny that Heidi was the one to put the vote on her. And Jam Jam was like, I know, I agree. Because maybe if he knows, that could put a rift between him and Heidi. He said, but he also knew that somehow this could also backfire if he tells, because people tend to shoot the messenger instead of listening to the message. And so he was like, but if it turns, I can be in trouble. But it was a risk Jam Jam was willing to take. <laughs> because they <laughs> they got somewhere where he can talk to Danny privately. He happened to drop the nugget that I know who voted for you. And Danny's like, who? And he's like, it was Lauren, right? He's like, mm, not no. Jamie either. Not Jamie either. Heidi? Hmm? Yeah. Uh, then that was that was the whole Danny thinking of Heidi. Nah, <laughs> nah, I'm being lied to. I'm being oh. lied to. While Heidi in the background is still going, oh my god, I have to go on damage control. How can I make sure this never gets out? Well, congrats. You don't have to worry about it ever getting out because Danny won't believe it. <laughs> So, right. congrats, your damage control's already done. Right. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't think Heidi could have got handed a better hand to deal with this exact situation. Yeah. Because th this man just, just did not and would not believe that it could have been Heidi. It was no reason for it to be Heidi because Heidi's a logical thinker and her doing that is illogical to vote for him so she wouldn't do that because she's a she's a logical person she would never do it so Heidi even when Jam Jam told the truth and he went to Heidi and was like did you vote she was like no I didn't think you did I didn't think you did because Jam Jam just playing us and trying to put a rift between us I didn't think you did. I just wanted to come back and tell you that Jam Jam is saying you did it. Which, sure. She did. Sure, whatever at this point. Whatever. <laughs> Why not? Why <laughs> not? <laughs> this man is beyond 
delusional in my eyes. He just, but, uh, but you know, you see what you see. We see the full picture. He does not. So it is what it is. But so then we move on to really nothing really happens. right? Yeah. I mean, it's just more of Carolyn being like, okay, now that you, you were kind of right. Right. Now that some time has passed, let's talk this out. Let's get it through. And is this again. is this where Tika kind of realizes that, like, huh? We have a ma- we nearly have a majority here. Yep, they was like, we just have to get through this vote, and then if we get through this vote, we will have the majority in this game. Which, yeah. And that is something I would like to see. That is yeah. something I would very much like to see. Me too. But, um, yeah. Yeah. Then so we just we'll, get to the immunity. Yeah, let's go to the immunity challenge. The immunity challenge, it's a survival, survivor classic, as just like to say, classic as it, and it is the Hold your breath while the tide is coming up and you in this cage. And I hate this challenge with all of my heart and soul because it freaks me out. <laughs> I don't blame you. That's the whole point. It, the, I would never last. I would be the first one out immediately once the water starts coming up. The first time it goes over my head, I'm like, oh, no. No, nope, I'm good. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm good. I, I can't do that. That's my worst fear is drowning, and so I could never do that. But now, it's, it even stresses me out watching this challenge. It's just so I it, can't. It's a lot, but also, what's interesting here is that we saw what happened on forty three, and forty three mm-hmm. was filmed before forty four because yep. numerical and also. The fact yeah. that they've only filmed and then released out of order like once, I want to say. Mm. Some weird Survivor trivia. But um, I think I stated it when we talked about this during 43. But I think the production team very quickly realized why in 43 it went so wrong where the tides went up and they went down and then for the first time ever they had to just end the challenge and give everyone who survived immunity. Mm -hmm. They realized that, hey, if we don't do this on a day where it's choppy and there will be gaps consistently, yeah, no, everything will just go to plan. Mm -hmm. And as such, nothing goes wrong this time, which I'm very happy. Okay. Am I happy to see this challenge return? Kinda. I mean, it's a classic, but also it sucks. (laughs) Like, on a mental state, I'm just like, okay, I hate this. But also, (laughs) it tests something that basically no other immunity challenge does, which is simply, how can you withstand fear? Yeah. So it's a completely unique skill. But... It's also a challenge that I would not subject anyone to willingly. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, it's just, it just does a lot on my mental. So I was just like, oh. But as suspected, the challenge goes on. And uh, um, People, I mean, it, it, typically people dropped out pretty quickly. I mean, they were in there for an hour before the tide started to really rise. And I think Lauren is me because the tide yeah. didn't really go that deep, but the tide just came up enough for Lauren to be like, ah, no, out, done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she she was me. very much like, e- even during the questioning at the very start, she was like, yeah, yeah I'm I- not. I'm already panicking. Right. I'm I good to go. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying, Joe. What are you saying? <laughs> She's like, I, I don't hear you. Because she was freaking out before the tide even got up. And so I'm like, yeah, Lauren, I feel that. I relate to that. That'd be me. But I Lauren don't... drops. 
Lauren drops out, quickly followed by um, Jamie. Yes. Jamie comes out so- shortly after. And then suddenly Danny was. Danny just panics. He panics. He literally panicked. And uh, yeah, he. Slipped he's gone. Twisted, and he's gone. Also, and he- on top of the structure for some reason. <laughs> Because because we can't have Danny do something normal at a challenge ever. Right. Uh, uh, then Carolyn goes and it comes down to Heidi and Jam Jam. And this one was interesting. And I was like, I love this. Number one, Puerto Rico represent. Per, per, per. And final two. Um, but they were both doing so well. Like you can. They did the whole snorkel hand thing. It was blowing the water out. It was good. Um, but eventually, eventually, come down to it. Jam jams are winner. Which yes, yes, yeah. <laughs> the, once again, this is why I like this type of challenge because, I mean, jam jam does not feel like a typical winner who could, I mean, probably does not look like a typical winner who could win Mm -hmm. a typical emerge challenge. And then we have a challenge that is completely unique and Jam Jam wins. Mm -hmm. That's why I want, that's personally why I want the, not this specific challenge. Let me, let me state that very clearly. These types of challenges that test different things that are like games of skill, not okay. I'm the first thing I'm going to is like a bocce ball situation, like they did in the past, but that that kind of situation where it just tests something completely different. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know, uh, dirty questions is not the right thing here either because that has problems, but you know, different types of challenges that aren't just obstacle, 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 or endure this for as long as you can. Right. Because then we get different people winning immunity, and that's more interesting. Agreed. Agreed. Um, it's, it's, uh, I, I enjoy, I'm glad for Jam Jam because actually Jam Jam really needed this because the conversations back at camp was that if, who, if anybody from Tika didn't win, or if Jam Jam didn't win, he was going to be the one. So, thankfully, for Jam Jam, he won immunity, therefore he is safe, and he will not be going home. So, we get back to camp, and Danny's like, well, there's that plan. We're going to get out Jam Jam, but we could just switch to Carson. we get out Carson, because Carson's the next best threat. Jam Which, Jam threat. Carson is a threat. For the first time in the game, means... <laughs> That Danny has not targeted someone who is a POC. Why is it taking this long? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> even even in this episode, it took it literally took the people of color to not be on the in in in, in trouble for in, or Jam Jam had to take himself off. <laughs> Jam Jam literally him. had to win immunity for that not to be an option it's anymore. Not to be him. But J- Danny is just consistently. I'm surprised he didn't just go back to Lauren. I'm surprised because that's yeah. Just at that I point, was. just I was surprised too. I was I'm uh, not even little front because this man has really been going poc crazy this entire season, and the only time he well, 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 last week he wanted Franny. Last, uh, that's a valid point. Last week he wanted Franny. So that was like right. the one exception. That was the one exception to the rule. Last week he wanted for any. But anyway, <laughs> he said they want Carson now because Carson, of course, is the biggest threat, next biggest threat because, of course, it's not Carolyn. Who's looking at Carolyn? Whatever. It would never be Carolyn. No, it wouldn't. She's cuckoo crazy. So uh, <laughs> um, they're like, it's going to be Carson. So Lauren. Jamie, Heidi, Danny are all supposed to go on Carson, be done. But they're going to tell Tika 
that is going to be uh that Danny's gonna say he's going putting it on splitting between Lauren and Jamie. So whoever they want to do is great. It just be split between them. And they're like, yeah, Carson, like, yeah, that's that's great, that's great, sure. Karen was like, yeah, sure. I don't trust it. <laughs> but but once again, Carolyn gets the feeling of why am I just being told what the plan is? Like, right. why don't I have agency? No say. Nobody asked me what I want to do. Nobody's saying this is the best thing. It's just, here's the plan. We're doing it. She like, hmm, interesting. Don't trust it. So she turns around. She's like, I don't think it's going to be the way they say it. And she's like, I think it's going to be you, Carson. She tells Carson, I think it's you. Which then turns Carson into, he starts to freak out a little bit. Nor- as normal people would. who hear Reasonably so. Like being told, <laughs> oh yeah, no. Uh, people are maybe voting you to lose a million dollars. Just a heads up. Right. She was just like, I think they're trying to play a fast one on us. I think it's you that they actually trying to vote for and they're just telling us you know it's so it's it's this Lauren or Jamie I don't think it's them so Carson's like well let's go to Lauren and Jamie and try to flip the vote on to Danny or Heidi but then they're scared because they're like Danny could have an immunity item so we should split it between Heidi and Danny and so they go to Lauren and they and they go to Jamie and they make the plan and Lauren and Jamie's like, yeah, yeah, we, we need to figure out something to do, yada, yada, yada. That'd be great. I'm here for that plan. Let's do it. But Carolyn is still like, I don't know if we could trust that they're going to actually do what we just came up with. I'm scared. And for the first time in this game, Carolyn finally admits to someone that she found the Tika idol. And she tells Carson that she found the Tika idol. And he's stunned. Could not believe it was her. Shocked. I, I will fully admit, like... This moment actually had like just just that little bit of welling up of tear in my eyes, like someone finally seeing Carolyn for the game player that she is, just genuinely was like, "Oh my god, finally! Holy fuck, it's been too right. long." It was just like it was like Carson couldn't do anything but but smile, but smile and be happy and be in awe of Carolyn in the moment. Like, all this time, here we thought crazy kooky Carolyn was just here play, playing around, but she's actually playing Survivor. She's playing the game, and she's doing it so well, and her, initi- her, her reads are right. Like, so right. But he was just like, oh my God. But then she was like, but I'm nervous, because what if I play it for you? And then the votes are on me. Uh, which valid. Completely valid reason. Absolutely. Valid. I would have thought the same thing because when you're playing an idol and you have an idol, this is your one shot to save yourself. And if you choose to save it somebody else, what happens when you need it? Or what <laughs> you know? So it's kind of always a back and forth, kind of like, should I use it for them? Should I just save it for me? And if they go, they go. But I could prevent this from happening and we can have these numbers and ja, ja, ja. But she's like, I got got to think about it. She got to think about it. And that's how we go end up going to tribal council with Carolyn. Just like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I got to figure this thing out. So we get to tribal council. And this tribal council was a little interesting to me. <laughs> I love Carolyn so much. <laughs> I just I just love Carolyn and I just hate how people talk to Carolyn. Like 
it drives I, me insane. I feel like there there is an unspoken stigma that she opened up about, hey, I went through a lot of drug abuse and now I'm a counselor and people are like, oh, okay, you use drugs. I'm going to treat you like you are like slightly mentally inferior. And it's annoying to see. It's, it's, it's very frustrating listening to how everybody, and I mean, everybody talks around her in front of her about her without inviting her into the conversation. And I'm just like, what are we doing? Do we not think people are people? Do we not see her? Is she invisible to you all? Because I see her standing there and y'all having this whole full conversation around her, but never inviting her into the conversation. And then when she makes her state, her, her fight, uh, voice known in a conversation is eye rolls, is, uh, it's okay, Carolyn, we get it. Like, and that even right? includes Jeff. Like, <sighs> like I, I was with Carolyn when she, when she actively got annoyed with Jeff. I was annoyed with him as well. Be okay, so I'm sure everybody watched, but Carolyn was talking about her experience in this game and how she she wasn't sleeping. She said, "I'm up every hour." thinking about this plan, thinking about another plan, trying to process how these, if the plans that I want is going to work. And she said, it's very, she said, I can't stop thinking about this game. It's just constantly going on and on and on in my head. And it's exhausting. And then Tanny turns around and like, I don't, I don't feel the same way. It's just like, if you just, it's like, he said, it's like a, a a fighter. Like if you a first time fighter gets in the ring and he's all nervous and he's doing all this extra stuff and he's just nervous because he's not used to you know fighting or being in the ring. When you look at the person who's been in the ring ten years, they're calm, they're collected, and they're cool, and they're just like you know. He said, "I think that's how this game is like. If you become the tribal council so many times, you're cool, you're calm, and." If, I'm like, Carolyn has been to more tribal councils than you, sir. What are you talking about? Like, you were on Soka. You did not have to go to tribal. Shut once, up. You went once in Soka. <laughs> Until the merge, you went to tribal once. Like, bruh, stop, please. But I'm like, what does that have to do? And why are you devaluing her experience? You might be calm, but she is not calm. And so then Lauren chimes in and is like, I mean, some people uh, do things differently. It's, 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 what did she say? It was, what was the wording that annoyed Carolyn? It was, oh. I'm trying to think of it, but I can't do it. I can't think of it off the top of my head. Oh my gosh. She said something like it was um oh uh, what oh, I can't think of the quote she said, but whatever it was, it was very like dismissive of Carolyn's uh feelings to in my opinion. And I was and 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 I was like, Ugh, Lauren, girl, for the first time I'm annoyed with you right now. Don't do that because that's so rude to do do that to somebody who expressed how they felt. And so Carolyn, of, of in my opinion, validly, uh, justifiably got annoyed with both Danny and Lauren, and was just like, uh, and and Lauren apologized. She was like, maybe I used the wrong word. That wasn't the word I wanted to use. I shouldn't I shouldn't have used that word. But it's she tried to just. But Lauren, Danny was. I mean. Carolyn was like not having any of it. She was not the scared. time. Yeah, just not the time. We can it deal is with this. What it later. is you said what you said. She just didn't want to hear it anymore, and so she was annoyed. And then, <laughs> so Jeff was like, "Are you annoyed, Carolyn?" She's like, "Yes." And then he was like, "You should get some sleep, and you probably won't be so annoyed." I was like. 
I have never wanted to literally jump through my screen and kick someone in the face more than I have in that exact moment. Just you saw all of that and that was the right thing in your mind to say, Jeff. I, I, we we normally like say as a joke like Jeff just just be quiet. No, in this case, Jeff, shut the fuck up. Yes, thank like, you for saying. No. I wasn't gonna say it, but you say it for me. I just shut up, Jeff. Like, how dare you? How freaking dare you sit there and be like you need to get some sleep? Like, and then she's like, he's, then Carolyn rolls her eyes and look at him, and he's like, "Are you mad at me now?" She was like, "Yes." <laughs> Yes. Yeah. What yes. what did you expect out of that question? And he's like, well, why? I'm just saying what you said, that you didn't get any sleep and figured you should get more sleep. Don't try to mansplain your way through what you just <laughs> said, sir. You are an... That was a dick move. And that was a dick thing to say. And it was horrible. And it you was. should have said it. Like clearly shouldn't have said it because she's already frustrated already annoyed with the tribe members coming at her and then you gonna come right behind with that little flip it mo- you should get some sleep like shut up how about you do your job just do your job and host the show and shut up yeah just no and I mean you finding this funny that woman is not it's not funny to her it wasn't funny. She was annoyed, clearly. Jeff, you get to go back to your hotel room at the end of the day and relax. She used to sleep on wood logs. She's tired. Don't push it. And she can't sleep because she's processing this game that she's playing for a million dollars that could probably change her family's life. She is trying to win a game and, and it's a lot of emotions going on and you pushing it. Like, seriously, Jeff, chill the freak out. Relax. Like, you relax. How about you go back to get some sleep? Read the room, Jeff. Read a room. Like, that was horrible. That was the most, that was so flippant and so dismissive. It was, ugh. anyway. So, Carolyn was annoyed. Understandably so. But, all the talk happens is they're like, let's just vote. And they go to vote. And Carolyn is in that voting booth for apparently a minute. <laughs> well, for a very good long minute. Because everybody's like looking around like, what's taking so long? <laughs> they did this whole <laughs> edit like of five cuts of right, Carolyn. So many cuts of people like, what's happening? <laughs> it's just just and like, honestly, I get it. I have been in the exact same situation where I have been debating what I write down on a vote for four or five hours. <laughs> we also learn here that there is no time control in how long you need to write votes. It does not work like Big Brother where they will tell you we, we need a name. No, you could just stand there for a minute and figure it out. Mm-hmm. I love it because first of all, it's just like, I don't know. I, I Like you said, I, we play games where we had to make the tough decisions and it's like, I'm going back and forth and back and forth in my mind. What's best for me? Do I pick my friend who I want to stay or do, or do I pick, kick him out? Cause I know if they leave, that's better for me. But then that, uh, I don't want this person to stay because ooh, ooh, decisions, decisions. Look, I've I've been I, I've been caught on very many streams <laughs> trying to make the tough decisions, and people have been laughing at my back and forth. It's it's, it's it's horrible. Yeah, but she took a minute. She had to figure out if this is the best move, hoping that the people who said they were going to do what they were going to do actually did it. But she finally made a vote. And Jeff goes to read the votes. He says, if anybody has any advantage or an immunity idol, now will be the time to play it. Carolyn sits there. She gives us drama. She looks around. She drops her head. And Jeff is about to open the thing. And she says, Jeff. And she says, 
Just, just it. take it. Just take it. I don't want just it anymore. It. Right, just take it. Play for Carson. I'm going to play it for Carson. And Carson is like, oh, my God, thank God. And you can look at the faces. Everybody was like, oh. first of all, Franny's gasp. <laughs> Everyone is shocked because is shocked. <laughs> once again, a brilliantly held secret that no one knew about. And nobody suspected. Nobody suspected Carolyn. So everybody was shocked beyond shocked to see Carolyn pull out an idol. And so the votes were read. The first two votes of Carson does not count. Then it was Danny. And then Danny. And then Heidi. And then Heidi. (laughs) One vote left. Fifth person voted to the jury. Danny. I've never been so excited. Very, very. It, it, so. It just feels good, because, I mean, Carolyn didn't need to play the idol. Like looking at the votes, there was no reason to. She didn't have to. But Carolyn playing the idol, was a very, very direct middle finger to Danny, and. That that's what I read it as personally. It was like a, yeah, I'm not following you. That that's exactly what it felt like to me, and I was just like, finally, she gets a goddamn word in. It was so beautiful. It was beautiful because not only did Danny do the same thing last week to Franny who Carolyn was working with. It was the way for Fran, Danny, not Carolyn, to say, F you to Danny. Franny, I got you. I got him just how he got you. And to show the rest of those uh, cast mates that I am here playing this game. Don't be, don't get it twisted. I am playing this game. So... Now, the other interesting thing is that the two votes for Carson came from Danny and Heidi, who, just just to go fully back, somehow, Heidi, after voting for Danny last round, just completely flipped back and was like, you know what? No, I'm going to work with Danny till the end and we got this and just, no. No, you don't. No. And the three members of Tika, Carolyn Carson and Jam Jam, all vote for Danny to go. I mean... I can't. I can't ask for a better ending. I really can't. It was. It was perfect. <laughs> it's clear and then was... Danny had to ruin it by doing the weird De Niro bit. I just <sighs> that went on for beyond too long. Yeah. Too and long. I think Jeff even looked at him like, "What? Are, you're you're actually you're you're going through with this? We're we're doing. Oh oh okay." Sure. Let me just snuff you at this point. I, I would have been like, the, the second he said, you can just snuff my torch. Yes, you're out. <laughs> like, you're not going through this whole bit. We're not doing it. Out. Get out. <laughs> like, I would have quickly been like, the tribe has spoken. <laughs> we would not have gone through that four, five, six, seven times. You can snuff me. You can snuff me too. You know, like, well, but... Uh, and the I worst part is, his moment. I guess he had to give him his moment. The worst part is, I know that someone in the future, on possibly forty six, because I think forty nine is uh, forty five is currently filming at this point. Mm-hmm. Someone on forty six is going to look at that and be like, "I can do that too." I got to I can make an impersonation. I can do something like that. Let me snuff and just like, light. no, don't, please don't, please don't, please don't. Holy fuck, don't. Please don't. God, God, no. 
<laughs> like, I don't care who you are. If you're my favorite, I really don't want you to do that. That's, uh, I can't. Just don't, don't do Just it. Just don't do it. Don't Just do don't. it. But that, that's that. And Danny is gone. I'm happy about it. And then we get um, um, previews for next week. And the previews made me upset. The previews irked me a little. And I want to know if this is because, okay, in the previews, Jam Jam is saying now he feels like it's the time to get rid of Carolyn. And I'm like, what? No. <laughs> what? I can't do that. <laughs> Jam Jam, no. Please. Please. <laughs> We're this close. Like, We're this close. You just got the majority. <laughs> what? It hurts my heart to say that too, but I think we need... What? No. <laughs> Please. I... I I will actively be inconsolable if Jam Jam sends Carolyn home. I will, ne- you know, during the finale, fine, whatever. It's life, it will suck, but it will be fine. Not before the finale, please, please. I would lose all of my mind if he gets rid of Carolyn next week. And if he is the one behind it. Because and if if it's and, and if his reasoning is because she didn't tell him about her idol, I will lose my mind. I'm gonna say, oh, so you cannot tell her about a vote, but she can't not tell you about an idol. An idol that if she had spoken up, she definitely would have been voted out for. Right. Like what the Mm -hmm. only reason she told Carson is because she was pretty confident she was going to be using it on Carson immediately and wanted to make him feel better exactly like that's the only reason she ever spoke up which is the right thing to do right thing to do you don't tell people about your idol if you don't plan on using it because if you still that and everybody find out about it guess who's the biggest target it's just, and sure. it, 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 and if his boot, and if his reasoning is because she just made a big move, and we did, we sent Danny home for making a big move, and I'm like, she made the big move to say yo tribe, you moron. I just, so, I, if, I don't, oh, I can't, I can't. I, mm. If that happens, I will just. I will. I will be on the floor. I can't. I can't think of that right now. I I'm just, just can't. Saying. So we're gonna. We're gonna make sure. We're just gonna project into the universe and make sure that doesn't happen. It's not happening. It's not happening. Survivor gods, just make sure that doesn't happen. If it did happen, rewrite history right now. Go back to the island, film everything over again, and make sure that doesn't happen. Change it all because. This podcast will not be a good place to be next week if that happens. I will say that. <laughs> just, just, just a cut to us next week, just staring Sobbing. down at the camera. Just, just staring. Like, <laughs> I have nothing but no words. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, we, yeah. we just film a five second video and just, God damn it. Right. And that's it. That's, that's the it. entire episode. We'll we'll put up a banner of of the but that's it. I have nothing to talk about with this. If if that happens, I promise you next week will not be pretty. It will not be pretty at all. At all. But we are not putting that into the universe because what happens is none of that happens and exactly will be fine. So on all that note. You all know what to do. Hit the like, follow, share, subscribe, all of that. We appreciate you joining us tonight for this content on Survivor. 
We'll be back next week doing the same thing, talking about the same people. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully they won't just like swap in six new people randomly. It'll be like, oh yeah, wait, what? What? Can't do that. But um follow us on uh, Twitter at the cup underscore reality to find out when all of our videos will be dropping and all of that, what's coming up down the pipeline. And you can follow me and Jack if you want to. We're cool people. You know, look all the Twitter stuff and information down there. Also, don't forget to get your cup merch, uh, the cup cup and all the other cup merch down there at Lana G's Creations And um yeah, I think that's about it. <laughs> So, um, cheers, y'all. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, okay, there's the camera. Yep, there it is. <laughs> ole, ole, oh, ole, God. Ole, 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 ole. Okay, that's enough. Bye. Bye. <laughs>